can speak now to Yair Lapid, who is the Israeli Minister of Finance and head of the Yesh Atid party, and he joins us now uh, from Jerusalem. Thank you very much indeed uh, for being with us. Let's just pick up on what we were hearing there from that woman in Gaza who said, there is nowhere safe to be in Gaza and you have nowhere to run to, even though these phone calls may come through saying, you know, you're going to be a target. Well, this is, of course, heartbreaking. And uh, somebody has to um, make sure everybody understands Hamas is the only one to blame for it. We've been fired upon now for days and days by ro thousands of rockets and missiles. Think of it this way. If somebody would shoot at London with thousands of rockets, wouldn't you react? Wouldn't you do something about it? We are doing our best to avoid any tragedies, to make sure the life of this poor woman is better and safe, but she is being held hostage by a terror organization who is using her for protection while shooting at us. And people sh all around the world should gather together and, and explain to the world that Hamas is the only one to be blamed in this situation. OK, let me just pick up on your metaphor. So London is being bombed and a few people are injured and one person, very tragically, has been killed. On the other side, over 200 Palestinians have been killed. Wouldn't the accusation come from the people in London that we are being overreacting and using brutal force against people who are innocent victims? And today we hear about four children who were playing on the beach who were killed by shellfire from uh, an Israeli gunboat. Well, first of all, this, as I was saying, every, every, everyone who's being hurt is a tragedy. Of course, the death of children is heartbreaking and a, and a terrible tragedy, and, and we, we are doing our best to avoid it. I mean, you have to remember, in Israel, when, when a child is being hurt, and a Palestinian child is being hurt, we, we uh, uh, um, lower our voices and we, 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 we are doing everything we can to avoid. But, but on the other side, there's somebody who's aiming at children. The, thing, the truth of the matter is that what we are doing is we are using our force in order to protect our children, and Hamas is using their children in order to protect their force and their rockets and their, their missiles. And, and, and let me tell you something. The, the kind of equation well, we just you have four made, children killed on a beach in Gaza yes, who were play, yes, who know, playing... Know, this is, and this is terrible, and this is terrible, and Hamas is the one to be blamed for this, because Hamas is using these children as human shield. What, listen, if you're taking the question of how many people died, Sorry, then, I'm for gonna, example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna between the United States and Al-Qaeda, you're supposed to support the, the, the Al-Qaeda and not the United States. We are trying to protect the life of our children. We are a democracy. We're doing everything in, in, in our power in order to avoid hurting the innocent. Yeah, and Lepid. Hamas, on the other hand, is using them as a human shield. Yeah, Lepid, surely on this particular occasion, when these kids are part of an extended family of fishermen, and they are playing on the, near the boats where the fishermen operate, doesn't the, isn't the only human response from you is to say, well, we need to look at that because it may be that we've made a mistake. That is not Hamas's fault. Of that is not the kids, of course that is not the kids being the human shields. Listen, of course we will look at this the same way we, look, we are looking at every time somebody who is innocent is being hurt. There's no other army in the world that is calling people before he's bombing an area in which there are missiles and telling the people, you have to leave now because we don't want to hurt you. We're just trying to, hurt the, the, to make sure that the rockets disappear and you'll stop firing at our people. We are doing whatever we can. This is, this is a situation of war and there are casualties and this is terrible and this okay. shouldn't happen. And when you tell me there are four children who are dead, my heart goes out to them and to their families. But the thing is, you have to remember, oh. this is on Hamas. Okay. Hamas Look, you've made is that using point. Let me those move children let me, as uh, human shields. You've made shield. that point. Let me move on and just ask you whether you see any prospect of any kind of diplomatic breakthrough that could bring these hostilities to an end. What's your understanding of Listen, where we are the, now? A couple of days ago, a ceasefire was offered, and we said yes. We said yes, and we held our fire, and we didn't shoot because we don't want to shoot at the people of Gaza. And Hamas kept on shooting on our people and our cities and our children and our, and, and our families. As I was saying, what we want is peace to be restored, a sustained peace to be uh, restored. And as I, as I was saying, a ceasefire was offered by the Egyptians. The, the, our first reaction yes, was, yes, sure, we don't want this. We don't want this. We don't think this should happen. But Hamas kept on firing at us. So you have, again, to take this question to Hamas.
Yair Lapid, thank you very much indeed for being with us. Thank you, sir.